Hi guys, uh, time again for another Selma Fly um, video. Uh, in uh, this video, I'm gonna tie a uh, bulldog. Haven't done it yet. I chosen the vineyard pattern. So let's begin. So let's start uh, tying this bulldog then. Uh, first of all, attach the thread. So oval silver tinsel, use extra small. So we're there. So silk on this fly is See, clear it. So, so touching it, tighten in the front so I can wind it backwards and then forward again. I think I had one here, actually real good. So I'm gonna use that one. Good. I'm just gonna wax the thread and find a few more wraps around the gift to secure it. Now you guys see how important it is to pay attention to what you're doing, <laughs> which I didn't this morning. So, gloves on. So now it's time to uh, wind the silk. Doing it backwards, as I mentioned. Working through that tinsel. Back and forward a few times just to build up with the volume. The 
change my light setting since I know this I can hardly see myself just removing the gloves so I'm gonna use this Silk to tie it in towards the gutes, so they meet up so it's not that uneven. So, tail time, just gonna cut this one off. There we go. Waxing the thread. Securing the tail. Bit long. There we go. Next feather, finger substitute. Can see waxing thread again. We're gonna add ostrich shirt.
100 silk foundation. Cutting the leftovers. So now to the silver body. So, tight wraps backwards and then forward again. Token wheeling. So I need to get my token. So I'm gonna take a short break. So I set the token. Uh, it's a nightmare, so <laughs> I did it uh, uh, off video to be able to concentrate properly. Um, so I used three token feathers above and three uh, below. Now it's time for the ostrich hurl. So let's attach that one.
Oops. Preparing oval silver tin cell uh, that will go over the blue silks, the rest of the body. So I'm gonna tie that one in nicely. There it's attached, tying it in. We have light blue silk later, but first we need to add from uh, body hackle over blue silk. So waxing the thread again. Prepared a feather already. Going backwards. Light blue silk. Gloves on again.
Cutting the leftover of the silk. Let's do the tinsel first. Wraps. 
then we should have Galena in the front. I'm using Kinefo. Securing it, a few tight wraps, put the leftovers. A few turns. sufficient space to mount the wing Telephone. It's gonna move the to token a bit. There we are. So I'm gonna do the wing, and uh, when it's done, um, I start the video. Okay, time to mount the wing.
see. So root duck. Better than root duck. Yeah, that would be looking nice. So preparing some root duck then to add on the sides and some nice yeast here.
there we are one side down And I need to find it smaller topping. Not sure if I got one prepared. Need the topping on it. So I'm gonna pause a bit and then uh, look for proper topping and the trim uh, the leftovers. And then the flare is done. So last step is to add the topping and then I just gonna finish off the head and varnish. Uh, and the fly is ready. Time to take a picture later. There we are. Some varnish, as mentioned, and that's it. So, that's how you tie the bulldog. Um, Interesting uh, salmon fly, uh, never tied it before. Um, to be fair, I could made the, the wing a bit higher, you know, more volume. Um, it uh, turned out a bit thin actually. Um, but yeah, and now that's how it is. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, see you in the next one. Um, take care and stay safe. Bye. Oh baby, I love